Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. This is going to be a short video about characterization of stress strain curve using Abacus CA. Many times you don't know exact material parameters, but you do have a stress strain curve from uniaxial tensile test. And you have to find out parameters such as Young's modulus, yield stress, ultimate tensile strength, and how your yield stress evolves with respect to plastic strain. So Abacus has facility to do that. You just have to input this stress strain graph and you can create a material which will have all these parameters and Abacus will calculate it for you. So as an example, I have this stress strain curve for aluminum and this is engineering stress versus engineering strain curve. We will input this stress strain curve into Abacus and we will create isotropic elastic plastic material model. Let's start with Abacus CA. We will use this calibrations tab so just double click on this and you can give it a name if you want. I'm going to keep it as calibration one and then click on this plus sign. And in this data set, you can input the stress strain curve data. So just double click on this and I'm going to give it name over here. Aluminium engineering stress strain curve. And this is all the data points for this stress strain curve. I'm going to just copy paste this from here. Into Abacus. Once you have it, say OK. And then you can see it again over here. So this is engineering stress strain curve. Now first you have to convert this into true stress strain curve. To do that, you have to right click on this and go into process. Select convert, say continue. Then this window will pop up and here you have to select to true form. So we are converting data from nominal form to true form. And here I will name it as aluminium true stress strain curve. I will remove this copy. Now this is converted into true stress strain curve. Next thing is you want to create a material. For that you have to create a behavior. Just double click on this. You get three options over here. Elastic isotropic, elastic plastic isotropic and hyper elastic. So for this, we are going to select elastic plastic isotropic. I will name it as aluminum. Say continue. The first thing you have to choose the data set, which will be aluminum true stress strain curve. Once you do that, the ultimate point, you have two options. Either Abacus can calculate it for you or you can choose manually. I'm going to check what Abacus selects. So you can see over here on the graph as well, which point Abacus selected. So I think it is pretty accurate. So I'm going to go along with this. Then yield point. So yield point, you have to select manually. So for that, just maybe zoom in over here. And now select this arrow and you have to select yield point somewhere over here. Once you select the yield point, it will show you a line. Just make sure this line coincides with your original stress strain curve. If it doesn't coincide, you can again change the point until it coincides. For example, if you select a point over here, then you can see your original stress strain curve slope is this but Abacus calculated this slope, which is not correct. So you have to select it such that both lines overlap with each other. And you can see Abacus calculated a Young's modulus for you. Then next is plastic points. So you can increase this number of plastic points by sliding this slider and you can see plastic points over here. And these are the values of strain and stress at those plastic points. Usually don't go too high, maybe somewhere in the middle is perfect. And another thing is you don't want any plastic points after ultimate point. So now Abacus is giving these points as well. But if you run the simulation with these material parameters, it will give you error. Once you create the material, remember to manually delete all the points which are after ultimate point. Then poisons ratio you have to enter manually because only from tensile test, you can't get Poisson's ratio. For Poisson's ratio, if you want Abacus to calculate it, 
you have to input another data set which will be your transfer strain measure so this you can just input from literature maybe 0.33 and then you can create a material over here i'm going to name it aluminium just create a material once material is created go into this material tab and select that material and say apply now if you close these things now if you close these things and go to material over here you can see that material aluminium if you open this you can see it will have elastic and plastic behavior young's modulus is calculated by abacus and plastic parameters also yield stress versus plastic strain this is calculated using abacus when you use this plastic parameters for running your simulation abacus will give you error if these points are not in ascending order therefore just check manually if you see the strain is reducing again so after this 265 strain is reducing again just delete these points keep the points until the stress is increasing and you're good to go that's it for this video if you have any question please comment in the comment section below if you want me to make videos on any specific topic that also you can suggest in the comment section below if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching